Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajas Kakasungoro YouTube channel. Thank you to those who are continuing subscribing to our channel. May God bless you so, so, so much. And I will never forget to say thank you. If you're watching this video, the first thing you should do, click the subscribe button. And of course, remember to turn on your notification bell. Kaka, I myself also did not endorse the decision by the Kenyan president, William Ruto, to send our police officers to Haiti. Not only me who differed with him, even the human rights organizations did. Now today, the ODM party led by Raila Odinga has spoken in a language each and every Kenyan understands. And I will be reading this statement from the ODM. In July, Kenya made an offer to lead a multinational security support, MSS mission in Haiti. As a party, the Orange Democratic Movement, ODM, is deeply concerned about the political instability in Haiti, the dire humanitarian situation. We acknowledge Haiti's historical significance as the first black nation to regain it is independence from colonial forces, which serves as a beacon of liberation for all Africa and black people worldwide. Over the years, Kenyan military troops have served with utmost professionalism in UN-backed peacekeeping missions. In diverse countries, including Namibia, Sierra Leone, Liberia, the former Yugoslavia, and East Timor, among others. All these missions have been credible, multinational UN sponsored ventures with clear mandates and terms. Of engagement. No wonder our military has left these missions with universal praise and commendation over its upholding of professional and moral tenants on duty. But now, for some strange reason, the Ruto regime has arbitrarily decided to send not the military, but the police to Haiti. A country far away on the Western Hemisphere with no strategic geopolitical value to Kenya. In fact, this is not the main worry in this plan shrouded in misery. We believe that the decision to deploy Kenya's police officers to head the MSS mission in Haiti is ill advised, opportunistic, and undermines the spirit of Pan Africanism. ODM Party raises the following concerns regarding this deployment. One, constitutional mandate. Kenya's National Police Service is established under Article 244 of the Constitution to enforce national security and does not possess an external mandate. 
Number two, internal security challenges. The recommended ratio of police officers vis a vis population is one for every 450 citizens. Kenya's ratio is around one for every 1,000 citizens. We simply do not have policemen to spare. Indeed, given the current security challenges around Sondu, Lamu, the North Rift, uh, sorry, <coughs> the North Rift, along the border with Somalia, and within the islands of Lake Victoria, only a truly insensitive and reckless government would deploy 1,000 police officers elsewhere, a poor man's philanthropy will always raise eyebrows. Three, no immediate threat to national security. Haiti situation, strategic as it is, poses no immediate threat to Kenya's national security as the two nations do not share a border. Four, previous interventions. Previous interventions in Haiti have been conducted by some of the most powerful nations on earth with disastrous results on each occasion. There is therefore no gain saying the fact that the breakdown of law and order or the instability in Haiti are not superficial issues that require mere policing. The root cause go deeper than that. Five, human rights record. Given the documented human rights concerns involving our police forces, we do not believe that is a side of Kenya we need to display on the international stage. Six, lack of prior parliamentary approval. The commitment to send our policemen to Haiti was made long before approval, both of the UN and Kenya's parliament was sought. In fact, given the current state of capture of parliament, any pretense at seeking approval would be afterthoughts meant to sanitize the process using Ruto's voting report in parliament. In light of these concerns, ODM urges the Ruto regime to reconsider this offer, we call upon members of parliament to oppose the deployment of our men and women in uniform to Haiti should the matter be brought before parliament. Our focus should remain on addressing Kenya's pressing internal security, improving our law enforcement, and safeguarding the well-being of our police officers and citizens. ODM party believes that as a nation, we should support the principles of Pan-Africanism and international solidarity, but not at the expense of our own security and stability. Haiti's challenges require a different approach. And we are committed to finding alternatives, ways to assist without compromising our nation's security and the welfare of our citizens. Signed, the Orange Democratic Movement. And those are my sentiments. I spoke my mind a few days ago, and I still stand on those sentiments. I do not endorse William Ruto's Deployment of police officers to Haiti. It's a dangerous mission. 
we should think about it. Let's not injure families. Let us not leave children homeless. Let us not leave widows just to want to fulfill our personal gains and to please other governments that are sponsoring our every Sunday Thanksgiving ceremonies. God bless you, Kenyans. God bless you, Kenya. Asante Nisan.